Hi, my Tubies, my TikTokers, my Twitter. She's a true love here with you. Being single for too long, do you think it can ruin you? Well, there's a fellow here. He feels that don't be single for too long because it just may ruin you in a good way. <laughs> Listen in. Here we are. There is a real thing. Being single too long, it will ruin you. I'm telling you, it will. I've been single. This is the longest in my adult life that I've been single. I have no desire to be in a relationship. None. If somebody starts to talk to me and, and, I, and I feel somewhat interested and they want to talk on the phone, I'm automatically annoyed. I do not want to talk on the phone with you. I do not want to go to your Aunt Rita's house and eat hamburgers and hot dogs. I do not want to go window shopping at the mall. I do not want to go to the movies and pay way too much for popcorn and drinks and pay a million dollars. I'd rather do it at home and stay home where all my things are I got a half a million followers and I don't go on none of their DMS and try to hit on them and 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 nobody can say any different okay I just don't do it somebody said the other day well maybe you're gay no I'm not gay I don't even want to look at my own junk much less somebody else's why would I want to look at yours no I'm not gay I'm attracted to women but I'm just burnt out on women I did all that in my 30s I went out and bar hopped and partied and did all that and now that I'm in my 40s I just want to sit home I don't want to do anything with anybody I wake up when I want to I eat where I want to, I watch what I want to, I go to bed when I want to, I do anything I want, anything I want. Oh, but you could do that with the right person. No, you can't. No, you can't. It doesn't work like that. It's never worked like that. And it will never work like that. It's okay to love yourself, but don't stay single too long because then you're going to end up like me. Have the day you deserve. <laughs> I agree with him because then you're going to end up like him. He looks very happy, like he says. He has no desire to be in no relationship, no desire to be in no marriage. And when people even invite him out, a lot of times he don't even want to do that. Like, I, I don't know if I told you already, I'm pretty much a homebody. Like, I know a lot of people, they like to travel, travel, travel. I'm not that either, either, better yet. That's not my thing. I am a homebody. My home is so comfortable. I have everything that I want in it. I enjoy my own company. You know, I don't understand people who always got to be on the move, on the go, 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 go. I don't understand what that's about. Um, I think people like to say they like to travel because they think that makes them seem more interesting and more um, valuable. I admit I am a homebody. I love my home. I don't mind doing local things like movies, concerts, whatever. You know, um, um, I, I don't mind going on vacation maybe once a year. As long as it's SUV or in a Jeep, I don't mind things like that. But I basically love to stay home, like I said. And when it comes to being single, I love being single. I wouldn't have it any other way. I met an amazing married couple today, married for 44 years. And they seem to be happy, you know. So there are, it does exist. But I know that they went through so many ups and downs and uh, 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 rounding out. I, I don't want to be bothered with that type of thing, but I say God bless their marriage even further. But she has an amazing husband, too. This man spoils her rotten. Amazing husband. And I met them today in the church that they're together. He's a pastor, a real pastor, so it seems, you know. And he treats his wife <laughs> like she's a freaking queen. So now my thing is. Marriage is not for everyone, and I am very happy being single. Like this man said, I agree with him. I have no desire to be in another relationship. I just don't. And I think to myself, because I wrote some notes, what am I missing out on because I choose to stay single? And what am I missing because I choose not to be attached to a man for the rest of my life? What am I missing? What am I missing out on? Most dudes say, well, you're going to be lonely as hell. No, nah, honey, I'm too busy to be lonely. But here's how I see it, and so do so many other women. One thing I want to share with you is when a person has a routine or when a person is very busy, I, I you know, let me tell you how often I get lonely. Maybe three, every three or four months. So that's what, maybe three times out of a year, four times out of a year, I may get lonely. And then I get up, I'll go to a meetup, I'll go to my friend's house, I'll go hang out for a little while, and then I'm back. I'm good for another three to four months. Like I said, you know, when you have so many interesting things to do, I, I, please, my plate is full. 
So I love being single. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, my thing is, what am I missing out on when it comes to being with a man or being married? I'm missing out on a whole lot of unpaid labor that is rarely appreciated, cooking when I don't feel like it, cleaning, picking up after some dude, laundry, emotional labor, and if I was a mother who he wanted children giving birth, child care, et cetera, not to mention women are now bringing home the bacon and we're helping to pay bills. Marriage does not serve women like it serves men anyway. I think marriage benefits men so much more. Alone does not mean being lonely. Marriage is for those who can't seem to maintain or be happy unless they they have a man. I'm not that I'm I'm I'm, I'm not that way. I'm just not. For those who can maintain, they are usually happier because they have more time to feel and draw closer to God and Christ, to focus on the things that they want. I get to date different people, or not date, because I don't really date, but I hang out. I get to hang out with different dudes, different guys. When one guy bores you, you can always, you know, with no problems. You're not stuck with just this one. And I'm not talking about sleeping with anyone, because I'm a Christian. But I'm talking about just hanging out with different men, if I choose to. You can do a whole lot more. You know, also spiritually, you can do a whole lot more. And, and the beauty of it is when you're working for God in Christ, they really appreciate it and they value all that you do. Like I said, I don't get lonely too often because I have passions, things I'm passionate about. I have hobbies. I have friends. I have social media. I have support groups. And I have a long line, as you see, my subscribers. I don't like to say followers because we follow Christ. Subscribers and supporters. I really don't need a man to validate me I don't need his approval and I don't need his acceptance. The only two men's acceptance that I need, Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. I'm good. That works for me. I know everyone is not the same, but I feel exactly like this gentleman, this man does. So let me play him for you again because I, I feel the same way. Yes. Being single too long. Okay. There is a real thing. Being single too long, it will ruin you. I'm telling you, it will. I've been single. This is the longest in my adult life that I've been single. I have no desire to be in a relationship. None. If somebody starts to talk to me and, and, I, and I feel somewhat interested and they want to talk on the phone, I'm automatically annoyed. I do not want to talk on the phone with you. I do not want to go to your Aunt Rita's house and eat hamburgers and hot dogs. I do not want to go window shopping at the mall. I do not want to go to the movies and pay way too much for popcorn and drinks and pay a million dollars. I'd rather do it at home and stay home where all my things are. I got a half a million followers and I don't go in none of their DMs and try to hit on them. And, and oh yeah, I want to agree with him when he says I'd rather just make my own hot dogs and stuff because it is so much cheaper when you think about it. I get a whole pack of Nathan hot dogs for like $5, have friends over to watch a movie on Prime Video that cost me $3.99. Do you know how much movies cost these days? Do you know how expensive it is? And then I also agree with him when he says I like my own environment. Like when you're traveling all over the place, you got all of this humidity. I have allergies. Messing with my allergies, it's too hot, it's too humid. Nothing is the way I, I want it to be. I have everything the way I like it in my beautiful, beautiful home. So I can relate to him. I, I could certainly agree with him 100% on that. And, and nobody can say any different, okay? I just don't do it. Somebody said the other day, well, maybe you're gay. No, I'm not gay. I don't even want to look at my own junk, much less somebody else's. <laughs> Why would I want to look at yours? No, I'm not gay. I'm attracted to women. But I'm just burnt out on women. I did all that in my 30s. I went out and bar hopped and partied and did all that. And now that I'm in my 40s, I just want to sit home. I don't want to do anything with anybody. I wake up when I want to. I eat where I want to. I watch what I want to. I go to bed when I want to. I do anything I want. Anything I want. Oh, but you could do that with the right person. No, you can't. No, you can't. It doesn't work like that. It's never worked like that. And it will never work like that. It's okay to love yourself. But don't stay single too long because then you're going to end up like me. Have the day you deserve. You're going to end up like him and me. Peace, happy, joy. You know, the fruitage of the spirit is joy. One of the fruitages. God wants us to rejoice. He wants us to be happy. 
He wants us to have peace. He wants us to have, well, I love freedom. I love my freedom, being able to do what I want, when I want, how I want. I don't have to consider nobody else's feelings. I don't have to pick up behind nobody else. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. So I agree with him. Don't be single for too long, baby. You're going to end up like us. 